What's up everyone? Welcome to day number 13 of your shred program and this is your 45 minute body weight sports cardio workout. So grab your sweat towel and let's get started. Welcome to day number 13 of the Shred program. Today is a body weight cardio workout, so all you need is just some space around your mat. We will be rocking for 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, three rounds per exercise all the way through today. Sports that we're gonna cover, and just so you know, you don't have to have been an athlete to compete this workout. You will, of course, see where I'm going with it, but you don't have to have any prior experience. It's just kind of to place a fun theme on your cardio today. So we're gonna hit a little basketball. We've got some soccer, we've got track and field, we've got skiing, so a really fun variety. Be ready to work hard and enjoy yourself today, okay? So grab your water, grab your sweat towel, and let's jump right into our warm up with cross body swings. Three, two, one, here we go. Good. And just as athletes do, we're gonna warm up multi -planar. So we're gonna twist, we're gonna bend, we're gonna hinge, we're gonna move laterally. Good job. Four, three, two, and one. Good, take your left hand up and over and switch to the right. Good. Feel that stretch all along the side of your body here. That's good. So we're gonna to start today with basketball. Okay, I didn't include any volleyball today. Normally I do, but we're gonna start with basketball, then move to soccer, or for everyone outside of the United States, football. And then we're gonna go skiing, and then we've got some track and field, of course, to close it out. All right, hang down in the middle. Let's hinge forward. Good, take your feet out just a bit wider and we're gonna go straight leg, bent leg. Stretch the inner thighs a little bit in your straight leg. And feel free to put your hands on the ground, put the weight there. Good job. And as you're pressing out of your bent leg, activate your quads and your glutes. Two, and one, great job. All right, let's take that left leg back behind you. Okay, nice long runner's lunge here. Dip your hip down in front. And lift your hips up to the sky. And same thing, back down. Let's flow through this kind of mobility hip and hamstring flow. Warm up needs to be very similar to what we're doing in the workout. So you'll see us moving in frontal planes, sagittal, and transverse. And this is definitely a workout you can take with you when you travel. Okay, switch legs, take the other leg up top. Take it with you when you travel, when you're going to a relative's house, you don't have any equipment with you. It's a fun one where you're gonna get your heart rate up. You're gonna kinda be able to associate what I'm kind of leading to. Of course, every move won't be exact, but I think it's just fun to kinda assimilate cardio and a sport together. That's my whole background. Good job, one more, down and up. Exhale, good, step up with both feet right outside your hands, drop your hips and let's press open right here. Shifting side to side if you can. Stretch it out your ankles a little bit. Good, and when you shift over this way, so I'm feeling a stretch here in my calf and my soleus. Okay, try to keep your heel down. Get that nice, good stretch in there. Two, and one, good, lift your hips up, heels to the glutes, moving into a little bit of quad work. Great job. So we'll have some supersets, we'll have some straight sets, and we'll have some circuits, meaning sometimes you'll do one exercise for three rounds, sometimes we'll group two together, sometimes we'll group three together. Great job. All right, last one. Hamstrings, nice and high. <sighs> Great job. I'm so glad you're here today. I hope with this workout, you set an intention right now to, number one, work hard. Number two, have fun. Number three, don't hold perfection as the only standard of a great workout. You show up, you work hard, that's a great workout. That's an effective workout. <sighs> All right. Let's start off with some basketball. We're gonna go defense, slide and touchdown. Okay, so you're here, touchdown. Okay, 
Go ahead and join me in three, two, one. Let's go. Down lateral, touch. Hands are out to the side. Your hips are nice and low. And yes, I'm providing a modification for every move. So if you need to keep it low impact, go right there to that modification. Good, nine, eight, seven. Beautiful, three, two, one. Now we're going defense. You're gonna take a basketball, grab it, rebound, and pivot. Come back, hop, pull, turn. Hop, pull, turn. Ready? Four, three, two, go up and grab it, pull it to your chest, guard it. Good. Full extension here. And if you're not hopping, same thing. Good work. You wanna keep this ball away. Okay, so you grab it, turn. Four, three, two, one. And we're back to our shuffles, okay? Side to side. Come on back over. Nine seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. There you go. Try to cover some good ground here. So try not to be just kind of putting your feet down. Pull, pull. Good work. Let's go. Ten. Four, three, two, one, rest. Great job. All right, now we grab the ball, rebound, pivot, okay? On your toes or hopping, either one. We go from defense to offense. Two, one, let's go. Nice work. Good, last 15, up, grab it, pivot. You gotta keep it away. Four, three, one more, two, one. Breathe, last round. Lateral shuffle, defense, you're guarding the person in front of you with the ball. They're not getting between you and the basket, okay? Hands up, three, two, one, let's go. Good work. Come on, keep the hands out. There you go. 15. Eight, seven, you're doing great. Five more seconds. Let's go down and back. Two, one, breathe. And we go into last rebound and pivot. Okay, big deep breath. And then we've got one more basketball superset. And we'll move into some soccer or football. Two, one, let's go. Good, so here we're moving sagittal plane. Then we go transverse plane. Okay, that's what I mean by we're gonna move in all different directions. 15. Good, four, come on, three, two, one, and breathe. Amazing work. Basketball circuit one done. We move on to one more. Whew. Okay. So, fast break pass, okay? So you have the ball, you're throwing it down the court to your teammate, okay? You have it, skip, skip, throw. Step, step, throw. Step, step, turn, throw. Okay, that's exercise one. Exercise two, you're in front of the person that's throwing the ball inbounds, okay? You're trying not to let them get the ball to their teammates, so you're here, okay? Or 
right here. Okay, let's go with that chest or down court pass. Two, one, grab it. Step, throw, step, throw. Good. Step, step, turn and extend. So you're using your core to get you around this way. Six, five, three, two, one, rest. Good. And then we go into our defense, not letting that inbounder get the ball to their teammates, okay? So we're trying to block it. They can't see anyone, right? Hands up, you can step it out or hop. Two, one, let's go. Make yourself big. Good job. Up, up, up. Keep it quick. Make sure you're not just kind of hanging out. Okay, quick, quick. You want to keep your hands moving so that at any time when they throw that ball past you, you can swat it. Five, four, two, one. Breathe. And we're back. Full court pass. You're grabbing it. Step together, throw. Step together, throw. Okay, or any rendition of that. Slide and turn your upper body. Two, one, let's go. Step together. Good, think of open turn, just like we do in seated twist, right? Full extension of your arms too, so we can get way down there. Good job, nine. Three, two, one. Okay, we're back. Keep the arms moving quickly, legs moving quickly. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Right here. Let's go. Good. Keep the arms moving. Block it. That's it. Almost done with basketball. Then we move on to what is the most popular sport in the whole world? Soccer or football. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. Last round right here. Okay, see if you can scoot quicker on these cross court passes. Okay, grab it. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Good, and have your toe pointed to where you're throwing. Good, whole body is working, right? Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, rest. Last basketball move. Then we breathe and grab some water, and then, Soccer. Eight, seven, five, four, right here. Two, one, let's go. And make it quick, make it move a little more to intensify this so you're here, okay? Intensify right where you can. 15, a little quicker. Six, five, three, two, one, and breathe. Grab some water. I've got my uh, Royal Change Shaker here out today. Drink it to BCAAs. We have these in stock if you're interested. Link is in the description. I love this white one. All right, perfect for pre-workout, intra-workout, post-workout shakes. All right, moving on to soccer. We've got toe taps, we've got a forward kick, and we've got a sit up and throw in, okay? Toe taps, you're practicing your ball handling, right here, okay? If you wanna grab something like a little ledge or a wall, you can go right there, okay? 
I think I'll do the same. I'm gonna stick back here, okay? Let's go, toe taps. Two, one, here we go. Good, and if you feel like it, move around, okay? Just keep it moving. This is all about foot speed, foot control. Great job. 10. Good work. Five, four, keep it quick. Three, two, one. All right. Forward kick and lunge. You're going to kick, put it back, switch, kick, put it back, switch. Okay? Your switch can be a step as well. So kick, take it back, switch. Two, one, full kick. Here, back, switch. Here, back, switch. There you go. This can look like low impact with a kick, lunge, back, kick. Okay? Let's go. Keep it up. 15. See how much I'm using my arms? I need you to do the same. Four, three, two, one. Have a seat. Sit up and throw in. You're taking the ball from out of bounds into your teammate who's in the middle of the field. Keep your heels down if you want. Lift them up to make it tougher. Ready? Let's go. toe taps. Whew. Find a stair, find, you can even just do it right here. It's all about foot speed, okay? Whew. Intensity, foot speed. I'm gonna go back here again and let's go. Arms are moving, legs are moving. Beautiful. 15. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, back to the kicks. Kicking forward, take it back to a lunge, switch legs and kick. Five, you're doing great, good job. Three, two, one, let's kick, here we go. Kick, back, switch. Use those arms and keep it quick. Come on. Ten. Lift the knee and then extend your heel. Three, two, one, breathe. Let's get those throw-ins. And this can look like heels on the ground. It can look like feet come up to meet the hands. Or most difficult, you can leave your feet up the whole time. Two, one, let's go. You hear me exhaling every time I throw? I want you to do the same thing. Five. Two, one, and rest. Let's go one more round, toe taps. Find anything, you can even pop a, a dumbbell down if you have one near. Okay, just quick feet, ready? Let's go. I'll just use this since I've already got it out. <laughs> this is a no equipment required dumbbell or workout, but if you have something to tap on around you, that's fine. I just used a stair. You can use your mat, sweat towel. Just keep it quick. Four, 
four, three, two, one. Let's go, kicks. Last round, forward kick. Try to look directly out of place. You kick there, switch, you come back and kick there again. So you're not losing your balance all over the place. Let's go. Good. Last round here. You're right there, you want 10 more seconds. Two, one, breathe. And let's hit that last round of throw-ins. Great work. Big deep breath. Step it up if you can. Lift the legs or have one of them meet you in the middle. Let's go. Good, keep it up, 15. Four, one more, and rest, good. Grab some water, great job. All right, we're moving down to skiing. We've got three skiing moves. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with these. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I think it's more fun that way too. Keeps your mind kind of going and guessing. All right, so skiing, we're gonna go cross country skiing first. Okay, so you think of the cross country skiers, big pull, right? We're gonna do that same thing. So you're gonna pull and pull. Just a little tiny hop to the side, nothing crazy. Or if you wanna just go right here, Feel free. Okay, I know it technically is like this, but we're gonna go with our feet together. All right, after that, we've got quick downward slopes, okay? Little side to side hops. Okay, last one. You're gonna have a seat, and we're gonna envision ourselves still trying to pull, okay? So we're here. Okay, so let's start with our cross country skis. Two, one, let's go. Big pull. Good job. You can stay on the ground or you can give me a little hop, but big arm exaggeration. Four, three, two, one, now we speed that up. Okay, you're going down the little swerves, the tiny hills, keeping your knees bent. Here, here, here. Okay, swerve your skis side to side. Two, just quick. Ready, let's go. Good, this can look like anything, by the way. If you wanna go here, whatever feels good to you. Quick foot speed. 15, a little quicker. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. And let's go down to your seated rows. Okay, heels can be on the floor to make it tougher, they're up in the air. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Fifteen more seconds. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one. And rest. Whew. Okay, we're back up. Cross country, remember, big pulls. Okay, let's go in five. 
as I fall over. Three, two, come on. Fifteen. Come on, you're really pulling yourself. Make sure you're kind of going up a little incline. Six. Three, two, one, and breathe. Whew. Quick choppy slants. I'm not sure of the exact ski terminology there. You've seen it on TV before, right? They're kind of going quickly. Let's go. Two, one, here we go. 10. Good work. Nice speed right here. Good, a little faster for the last 15. Let's go. Come on, eight, seven, three, two, one. Breathe and have a seat. Let's close out round two. Okay. Have a seat, lift the heels if you need to. Three, two, one, let's go arms, big pull. The toughest option is gonna to be to keep them up, drop the heels and keep that lean if you need to. Keep your core straight. Seven, six, three, two, one. Last round through, let's go. Big pulls here, big arm action. We come right off of a big arm action move. Big pull, picture, you're trying to pull yourself up a hill. Two, one, come on, big pull. Exhale, come on, keep breathing with me. Three, two, one, okay. Big pulls, now for the speed. Keep the legs moving, nice and quick. Okay, it's not literal, so if you're just twisting a little bit, just moving side to side quickly, that's what we want. Ready, two, one. Great job, 15. Go, 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 12. Seven. Five, three, two, one. Breathe, and the last one. Let's get that big seated pull in. Okay, flex your core here. All right, last round. Three, two, one, let's get it. Come on, keep those arms moving for 15. Fight for it. Let's go, let's go. Stay here for five, four, two, one, and breathe. Okay, grab some water. All right, skiing is complete. So we've got basketball, soccer, or football, and skiing under our belt. Now we go through some straight sets in track and field, meaning one exercise at a time, three rounds, then we rest and we do the next one. Okay, first one, we're gonna imagine ourselves as sprinters. Okay, we start off with the sprinting. In track and field, makes sense, right? So you're gonna sprint, quick choppy high knees forward, 
across the finish line, lift it up and jog back. Okay, sprint, finish line, jog it back. Okay, don't need a ton of room with this. Even if you stay right here in the middle, if you don't have a lot of room, you give me six and six. Okay, let's go in three, two, one, sprint. Good, hands up, jog it back and go. Fifteen. Seven. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one, and breathe. Let's jog in place. Fifteen seconds rest, two more rounds of that. Okay? So, just jogging, just kind of cooling it down for a sec. Same thing in three. Let's go. Keep those transitions quick too, so don't go from here to here to here, okay? Go, transition up, and then quick feet again. Good work, let's go, 10. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. You got one more round. Whew. Same thing. Let's keep that jog, come on. One more round. Four, three, get ready to sprint in two, one, let's go. Go, 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 do not slow down. Finish line, four, three, two, one. Breathe, grab some water. We're moving on to a little hurdling, and this one you have two rounds per leg, so four total. So if you've ever seen hurdling on the track, they go over, one foot straight, their trail leg comes over bent. Okay, so we're gonna go straight leg kick, kick, bent knee tap. Straight, kick. Okay, I'm not asking you to kind of do any trail leg snaps, but straight leg here. This can be either a lift if you're on the ground or a kick if you're hopping, and then a knee tap or knee tap. Okay, let's go in 15 seconds, starting with your left leg. Let's go left leg straight, right. Right here, okay? Big deep breath, four rounds, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, three, two, one, left leg kick. Straight arm is the opposite one, so right arm, left leg, here, opposite. Why is that? You wanna keep your center of gravity here. So if we start going here, we start opening our hips up. Three, two, one. Same thing, one more time on this same leg. Okay, just keep it in your mind, same leg. Left leg kicks, right leg, tap it. Five, ready, let's go. Three, two, one, here we go. Kick, bend. Good, try to keep yourself moving and not too much flailing, here, 13, 9, 5, 3, 2, 1, okay, right leg, now you have right leg, left knee, okay, let's go, 8, 7, right leg goes straight, left arm touches, Three, two, let's go. Good. 
Keep it quick. Stay right in the middle here so you don't want to be crossing. We're fast and agile. Seven. Come on. And rest. One more round on the right leg. Breathe. Keep working hard. Come on. Track and field is you work really, really hard for a short amount of time. Two, right leg, come on, let's go. Good, 14, 13. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Feeling it in your hips and your glutes? That's good. Grab some water. All right. Big deep breath. All right, the next one, we're jumping into the field aspect of track and field. And you've got either a long jump or a triple jump, whichever one you can envision. So the one where people run, 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 they take off and jump, and they land in the sand pit. In the air, their body ideally should look like this, okay? So we're gonna achieve that with an ab move, okay? You can either go straight arms, tapping the shins, or you can give me one leg at a time. Here, but you wanna end up here, okay? One leg or two legs at a time. Let's go in five, three, two, one, come on. Keep your biceps beside your ears too, so make sure you're not here, okay? You're trying to fold in half. Seven, three, two, one, rest. Same thing, two more rounds. All right, if you're feeling your hamstrings screaming right now, just do a bent leg right here, okay? But right after this, stretch those hamstrings. Promise it's gonna help everything. Ready, let's go, round two. Good, you've got 10 more seconds. Four, two, and rest. One more time, I wanna point out one more thing before our last round. When you come here, make sure you're not doing this with your hips, okay? You keep it here the whole time. Stay on the top part of your glutes. So when you open, don't open here, right here. Let's go. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Good, 15. Eight, seven. Three, two, and rest. Grab some water. Good work. Whew. Okay. <sighs> Big deep breath. All right. Four rounds of the last one. It's a single leg move. And it will not surprise you to know we're doing a little high jumping. <laughs> okay. And this can either be on the ground or jumping. Either way, it's going to be an intense move because your knee it's gonna drive quickly, okay? So option number one, on the floor, which you'll see the modification up here. Step, drive, step, drive. Only one knee is working at a time to drive. So if this is you and you wanna speed this up, here, on the ground, okay? If you're jumping, it's here. Back touch, here. Leave your planting foot out front. 
Okay, let's go three, two, left leg. Here we go, jump or step. Good, and you're thinking about riding that knee up if you're hopping. Six, five, three, two, one, and breathe. Switch legs. Right leg comes through. So you're either here or hopping. Right leg. Let's go. Intent. Give me all you've got. Two, one. Step right, or sorry, step left, drive right. Notice how much I'm using my arms. Ten. Four. Two. One, breathe. All right, let's go. Left leg drives. <sighs> One more round each leg. That's it. You've got to go hard right here. You have to push hard. Three, two, come on. Nice long, really beautiful cool down after this. Two, one, let's go. Come on, go hard. Good, 15 more seconds after that. We're gonna go hard for 15 seconds, just sprinting, okay? Eight seconds. In five seconds, you just go here to finish it out. Three, two, one, sprint. Let's go, let's go. Come on, fast. Nine, faster. Six, four, three, two, one. And you have made it to your cool down. Whew. Put your hands on your knees, fill up your lungs. Do it again. Relax your shoulders. Just think about someone sticking a, a pump right here in the middle of your ribs and going and it blows you up wide, not here, okay? Fill them up, expand your lungs. There you go. One more. Exhale, good. Drop down to your hands and knees. Let's keep your head up. Swing your right leg up beside your right hand. Come up to a neutral position. Lean forward. Amazing work. Whew. This is the completion of week number two, right? Ah. Beautiful, come on back. Straighten that front leg out. And let's go hamstring stretch. Way to go. Week number two shred program complete. Now look back at your week. I'm doing the same thing, I'm being super, super real with myself. I've gotta to get to the grocery store like yesterday, okay? What do you need to do this week for yourself that sets you up to be better than you were this past week? Go ahead and switch legs. This is not a judgment call, this is a take responsibility for your actions call. I'm doing the same thing, okay? I've got to get to the store, I've got to meal prep. The reactive eating, I'll be honest, it stressed me out all week. Can you relate to that? You find yourself like trying to make the best decision all week. It stresses me out and also I just don't feel my best in my workouts, in my sleep. Okay, push back, straight leg out front. Don't just think that you're stressed for no reason, okay? 
Find the point of your stressor. Attack that. Don't just try to get rid of your stress. Find what is stressing you. Attack that. All right, straight legs, both legs. Come up in the middle. Bend your right leg, keep your left leg straight. Don't just go through life trying to put band-aids on things that are broken. You've gotta fix the things that are not working for you. Switch sides. Okay, it's just like if you have an infection or something, and you just keep putting a band-aid on it. You've gotta to get to the root of the problem. Why are you so stressed? Don't just try to handle your stress or try to do things to get rid of your attitude when you get stressed. What's stressing you? Go to the root of the problem. For me, I just didn't have anything prepared this week. Slowly roll up, come on up to standing. All right, heel to the glute, let's pull back here. Grab onto a wall if you need to. I find a lot of stress in being reactive. Okay, so that's my takeaway from this week for myself. What's yours? I want you to comment in the comments below this video. What's your takeaway from the week? How can you be the better version of yourself next week? How can you step it up to do things to where you just feel better? You feel like that thriving version of yourself. Hands on your tailbone. And I know you know what I'm talking about. You've had those weeks where, <clears throat> excuse me, where everything just feels like it's flowing. You're in your groove. You're maxing out your potential. You just feel like, wow, I really am on it this week. And then you have weeks where you don't feel that way, right? Stretch your hips out here. I want you to go into that thriving week and think, what did I do to set myself up for that week? You're getting up on time. You have the food prep that you need. You have your water around you. You're getting good sleep because you're actually prioritizing these things. Don't put yourself on the back burner because then who ends up being affected the most? You, okay? Don't put yourself on the back burner to take care of everyone else. In some way, you end up getting really, really stressed. You end up getting the last bit of energy that you have, and you end up taking all of the repercussions of not prioritizing the health of your body, of your mind, okay? Those things aren't something that you can negotiate with. It's not like we have all this time, and it's not like we have all kinds of chances to just like, yeah, I'll take care of myself one day. This is your one day. This is the only one day you're for sure guaranteed, right here. So do your best for yourself today. You will find, as you start to do that, your world in general gets better and improves for you, okay? Take care of yourself. You'll find your life improves with you. All right, so make sure you engage with this video in some way. Don't forget to keep sharing these workouts. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to comment below what are you gonna do to take care of yourself today right after this. I love you and I will see you back here tomorrow for our stretch. Week two shred complete. Just watch me.